Hi, welcome to another instructional video from a Pacer. Today we'll be walking you through the process for installing one of our latest products, the transformed SSD. It connects an M.2 2242 SSD to a rugged connector and a value adding M.2 2238 PCB while still remaining within the standard dimensions of an M.2 2280 SSD. This is a patented transformed SSD OOB module, and it promises a quick and easy route to improving ESG compliance for many applications. The transformed SSD OOB module is based on a hardware module that provides a separate channel or communication path for transmitting data outside the main data channel. It can be used for various purposes, such as monitoring, troubleshooting, or emergency recovery. So organizations who are operating remote device management systems but don't already have OOB technology installed can add it simply by attaching a transformed SSD OOB module to their system. Development on this concept has been ongoing since a pacer began collaborating with Alxon last year, and users of Alxon's DMS cloud management system will be happy to know that a pacer's transformed SSD OOB module is already fully tested and compliant. All-in-one auto pairing and registration is an absolute breeze, and all products in the SV25T series have also passed MIL standard 2226 method 213G and MIL standard 810G method 514.6. Okay, let's walk through the core snapshot backup and recovery process so everyone can see how it works. You can see two screens here. One is the administrator PC, which is running Alxon's device management system in the cloud. The other is the factory PC, which in real life might be connected to a robot in an automated production facility, for example. The administrator PC is showing the status of various drives, as you can see on the far left here. The button to trigger a reboot and the drop-down menu giving more options can be seen here. First, we're going to set a backup point using Alxon's DMS. The admin navigates to the appropriate drop-down menu and sets the backup point. Now the backup area on a Pacer's core snapshot drive has been locked and cannot be changed. And it contains a flawless copy of the OS that the factory PC requires for operation. That was pretty quick and easy to do. Next, we're gonna emulate an attack on the factory PC. Imagine that a hacker got access to this PC and was able to delete some key files. Without those files, the OS is not going to be able to run properly. Okay, the attack is complete. And here's the result. The factory PC has crashed and is showing a blue screen of death. The admin, not knowing of the attack, uses the transformed SSD's OOB module to reboot the factory PC.
but the files are still gone and we get a blue screen of death again. The admin suspects something must have gone wrong. Either the files were corrupted or a hacker has found his way into the system. So the admin uses the OOB module to trigger the core snapshot recovery process. In less than one second, the system updates the mapping table so that the backup area is now the user area. Since the backup area contains a flawless copy of the OS that the factory PC needs to run, it should reboot normally. And as you can see, it does. The recovery process has been a complete success and the factory PC is back up and running again in just one second. The factory can continue to operate as normal. From this video, you can see just how easy it is to maintain a functional system using a Pacers transformed SSD series. We hope to create some more videos in the future to cover other value-adding features. So tune in next time.